we, we estimated uh, blocks, number of blocks around 2,000, 2 million, 300,000 of stones. Okay. Maybe less or more, but it's around this number. And of course, we lost the outside layer completely. Uh, they used to tell us a very interesting story about how they flatten the base of the pyramid by building, by choosing the place and building a wall around the four sides from mud and then they pour water so it will be a higher level of water and they start using the water as the level of the, the flat surface and they lower the water level, it will be a little bit higher edges or higher peaks from stone. So they chisel the peaks and they lower the levels and they keep doing this until they reach super flat ground. That, when I was studying, it was very interesting and I liked that story. But when I came to the real ground, I found that this is not right. They never flatten the base. How? When we look to the stone here, that is a stone cut from somewhere else and shaped and they put it here above the base, above the, the bedrock, right? This one, this one, and most of the stones. But when we look to this one, no. This one is the bedrock. Come closer. There is no separation. So this is the bedrock, this is the bedrock. This is the and we don't know what could be deeper inside. Higher, maybe, or wider, maybe. We are not really sure. But what we are sure about that they never flatten the base. And the bedrock was always a very important part of the structure. Not just being a base, but being like if I can call it like a, a, a nail or like a, a cone shape inside because of better conductivity. Okay. We have a very famous case in the, a little bit uh, north of Giza plateau called Abu Rawash. That pyramid was completely quiet. Okay. And we were lucky that this happened to understand how was the uh, the uh, underground structure, how it used to look like. Because without having this example, we would just imagine how they lowered it. So how they make, imagine that this is, this is a natural mound, okay? So they come to the middle and they make a big base in the middle and they leave the sides. They make like the horizon shape. Like, they make it like this. And they start building in, deep in the middle, which already will be deeper. And then when you reach that level of the like the two mounds now on the two sides, they start building from the sides. So as if there is, how do you call it, like this shape above the pyramid. Like a fork, like a little fork shape inside the pyramid. We found this very clear in the, the Great Pyramid and in the second pyramid. Also look to the severe erosions. Like till now, I don't understand what kind of rain can do this with limestone. Yes, the fact is limestone is not very strong like granite, but we don't have much rain in the same time. Okay, Egypt is almost dry weather. Can I ask when the Nile floods, would the waters reach up to here? No. No. Okay. They reach at the edge of the plateau. Okay. We are higher. Okay, so if this is the plateau, we come to here. But the flood cannot, this is the, we are about 30 meters higher than the valley. So cannot go up 30 meters. Maximum two, five meters, that's it. Okay, closer to the Sphinx, which in a lower level. But never come to here. So this erosion can happen in two ways in my opinion. Uh, very severe rain, too much rain, and this is, didn't happen uh, from 10,000 BC till now. But it happened 12,000 BC in a rainy season, okay? Or acidic uh, rain. And also we don't have this kind of, because no factories, no chemicals at that time, Essic like nowadays. Okay? Acid rain. Yes, that's it. Okay? So the only solution that it was exposed to too much rain in that rainy season. 
But that is not the reason to date this to 12,000 BC because it could be there before 12,000 BC. But the effect is 12,000 BC. I believe uh, there's a corner block before they lay the foundation. There's a, there's uh -huh. a corner blocks. Are they still there? Corner blocks? Yeah. And, uh -huh. They lay the four corners and then they lay the... We are not very sure from which part exactly they start, but our guessing it's from the middle first. In the middle? Yes. From the middle until they level that two mounds in the sides and then they start from the sides.